think of history as stories about the past, but it's always about the future in my mind. For much of the history of Canada, what went into an official archive was really in the support of state stories. What we have is an organization that was structured in colonial times. People of color, how can we tell our own stories? Why can't we tell our own stories? Mainstream institutions don't reflect our presence. We were seen nowhere. You're dealing with predecessors who were racist, homophobic, transphobic. They disappeared you so that you didn't exist in the public eye. I really want to question people in power to say, what gave you that immunity to erase us? As a people, we always love telling stories. So those stories need to be kept safe and preserved. Community archives do this tremendously valuable service. It's the community stepping up and filling a gap that the other archives should have been doing. Having a dedicated institution means that those stories are being told from the community's voice, from the people's voices. You can come home and you can physically look at these photos that involve your family. We have to control the narrative. The worst thing we can do is for our generations not to know where we've been. I believe that all institutions need to be on the way for a revolution. The time of reckoning has come.